Hey, what's up? Welcome everybody. Welcome to WebTabmatics and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use Vimeo API to host our videos to Vimeo. So by the way, if you don't know what Vimeo is, it is a video hosting website where you can host your video. So this Vimeo API allows us to upload videos directly to Vimeo from our web application. So we might have some kind of application. We might want that functionality in our website so we can make use of it or you can simply uh, upload your videos from your application web application directly to Vimeo using this API. So suppose you want to save your videos to Vimeo and you can share it or you have a website where you display some courses and for whatever reason you need this we will implement this API into our application. So I have simple form and from here I will choose title and description of video and choose a file to upload and when we submit it, it should upload it to Vimeo. So make sure you have Vimeo account and head over to developer.vimeo API guide. So from here first step you need to create an app. All right, so we I will open this up on new window. Okay, I will just create new app. So you can name it any app, YouTube, Vimeo, this, any description. So only Vimeo account that will have access to app are my own. So Will people besides you be able to access your app? So no, I agree, create an app. So this app is just to get uh, access token and all other thing. So I think I have this name already taken. All right, so, so here we get client identifier, client ID, and we should get client secrets. And another thing that we will need is access token. So that you can generate from here. So generate an access token. Need an access token for script testing, generate one here. So, yes, authenticate it. Private, we need the upload access. We need to edit. Yeah, you can uh, give as many access according to your need. So, I'll hit generate. And here is your token. You can just save it. Controls. I'll just copy it for now. Just save it somewhere so that uh, once it is created, it won't show again. And you might have to create it again. All right. So these three things that we require, uh, I think we are all set uh, here. Okay. Yeah. We are all set. So next step is to use the SDK for Laravel and here you get access to that or you can just follow through these and you'll all good to set all set with your application all the steps are here and yeah that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and install an sdk which will make our task a bit easier so you can use vimeo.php or laravel in my case i'll use this laravel so here is our application just open up terminal and require that so uh, let so i've installed it already to save some time 
and after that uh, you don't need to do all these for laravel 8 just publish this which will publish the config file where you can alter the settings and i will just copy this into my env file so let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see all those who are using from mobile device you can see it clearly so in dot env uh, just you need to put these and put the value so access token value that we just copied this is the access token and client and secret so secret one is a bit longer and client one is so I've already uh, included all these to save some time. So once that is included and your SDK is installed, you are all set to upload your videos. All right, so you can just simply upload like this. Okay, so I have created this form and I have set up one endpoint to store the data that will be sending from this file so let me show you web.php here is where is yeah so here are two endpoint videos upload which is pointing to create video uploader and store let's let me take you to video uploader so it is pretty simple just one view to show the form and one to handle the request post request so I'm validating that file must be required and should be of type video, maximum size 60, about 60 MB. And now what we need to do is we need to inject the video manager, this class. We'll need this class to upload our video. So in this, there is upload method where you can supply the, supply your video let me show you form so this is the form pretty basic form submitting to request to here form data and type of file name video and then we are grabbing that video file over here and we are we have to send additional parameter like name of video file and description and what it will do is it will give us a URI of the video file that you just created all right so while this so first let's uh, let's go one step at a time so let me pass to up to this step so that it will be easier for you to understand let me give you some title and description by the way name this title should be coming from our form I think I have given the title and description. All right, so that's it. You can make title and description required over here. This is all up to you. All right, so now let's up upload the file. Let's give a title first file, sample description. Choose the file that you want to upload. And let me this upload this one. Let me submit it. Okay, file field is required. Uh, let me. I'm sorry about that. It should be video because I have given the name video.
oops look like we have to uh this video is not available i think we should uh, give a mime type of video so larval validation let's search for available validation So here I think we can do something like this mime type. I think there is no video. Okay. So we can do like this. Just copy it. Instead of it here like this, so that all format are supported. Let's go back. Let's submit it. Video MP4. Yeah, upload it, submit it. Okay, so our file is successfully uploaded. This is uh, the URI that is returned by Vimeo, which will point to the video on your dashboard. So this will be the video ID where your video will be so here it is so it is uh, still transcoding zero percentage so it is still processing our video and what you can do is to get the status of your video you can pull or you can send a request to a uh, endpoint so let me show you that i've tried this uh, api before and so here is upload status so it is a good idea to create a separate service class and put all the method there instead of directly uh, doing all upload yourself in controller. So all the logic should be on service class rather than on controller. So for simple tutorial like this, we basically do something like that. Okay, so if we send a request to this endpoint we will get the status of our video so you might want to send the ajax request to that endpoint to get the status of your video so let me show you that suppose we have uh, this endpoint where we can test our Vimeo manager Vimeo so so in this um, met in this variable we can call this Vimeo method and we can call the request and send request to that URI URI that we just got return from here so if you send request to this URI it will give you the status of that particular URI, that particular video all right this is the way to get the video status okay result let me show what we got
there we go so we got transcode status complete so if uh, if it is not completed it will give us pending status and there are other status that it will give us like not successful so if it is complete then complete then if it, if it is in progress then it is still transcoding otherwise there is something some error that is how you do that now let's refresh and see if our video is completed processing and it's ready to view yeah there we go so our video is ready to be viewed so this is the video id that it gave us and from here you can share it and do whatever you want there we go all right so by the way this is our website webdemi.test uh, that we have created a uh, largas like uh, video service there's a project called advance let me show you Yeah, so this is the uh, project that we have built in this channel. You can just search for this advanced Laravel 6 project. You'll get to see this. You can just watch that. And you can say uh, you can implement that uh, this in your website, this website, where we can directly upload video to Vimeo. You can create a page in admin panel and do like what we did in this video all right so uploading to uh, Vimeo is uh, very easy uh, you can just combine all these bits and pieces to create a really cool web application so nowadays due to COVID uh, there is high demand of something like something this kind of educational resource you can build that for your community in your language and you can upload video you can upload videos you can host them to vimeo or on youtube and that's all up to you so hosting on vimeo is uh, like ad free and you can make a customizable quite customizable all right so here is documentation if you want to know more about it you can just go through it and let me know if you got some problem and i'll shoot another video on that so that's all for today bye